Hey folks, this ain't your typical episode. We in a different spot. The garden. Yes, the greatest place of all this time of year. And what are we talking about? Garden freshness. Cowboy walk style cooking we are. So come on folks, I'll get the shovel ready and we'll dig up some veggies. Hey, thank y'all for stopping by the garden. Yeah, we are in a different spot we are. Ooh, I do love me a garden, fresh produce. I love to smell that dirt, that fresh dirt when you turn it over. It's just got that great aroma. But folks, we're talking about walking and wobbling today. I ain't lying. I have got me an industrial walk. I think everybody should have one. Weighs about 65 pounds, it does. It's an old industrial highway tandem disc. Good friend of mine, Tony Osborne in Ruston, Louisiana, gave me that many years ago, and they use them a lot down there in that country. Folks, it takes very little oil to cook with these things. It's a very healthy way to cook because four tablespoons of oil get all this done. Mm, you get that perfect sear on meat, but you get it all back in there blended well. It is so good. And we're gonna throw some what in it? Some meat. Yeah, you gotta have some meat if you're gonna have a stir fry. And this may be a little unconventional for you, but we're going with bratwurst. Yeah, I do love some bratwurst on the grill, but folks, I've got this special sauce that goes with this that it all blends back together. So don't quit me because you're going to want to get a garden in the backyard for sure now. So folks, first let's get a few tips about this wok. Now, you want to preheat it. I want to get it pretty hot. I do. I'm on medium heat. and We're going to let this thing heat where it's plumb hot up to here. Now, I'm not talking smoking hot because the thing about a wok is you can pull up what's done, lay it up here on the sides for it to stay warm, and then you can blend it all back together. If you're doing this in a cast iron skillet, just put it on medium heat, add your little oil, and that oil right before it smokes, then we'll throw in them goodies that go in there. Well, I told you we was gonna have some of them brats, I did. So folks, these are great on the grill, and a lot of people boil them before they cook them, but in this recipe, no. We just gonna slice them. I just want you to slice them. I like to mash that first one on the end there because it's all the time trying to jump out. You wanna keep them the same thickness if you can. That way when you're cooking, you have even cook time. Well, you see me go over there and dig up my last surviving tater plant. I prefer a red potato, them little ones. Mm, they are better, but hey, a russet will work just as well. Then we slipped right on up that row. what do we get? Some green onion, as Justin Wilson would say because we gotta have it. We're gonna use both the tops as a garnish and the onion in the stir fry. Then we went over at them crook neck squash. Yeah, I'm talking about them yellow squash. And folks, remember, hey, if you got some of them squash and you got two plants, you can feed nearly the whole county. Them things is like rabbits. They multiply really quick. And last but not least that we gotta have a green bell pepper. Picking. Live picking we are. And looky here, woo! That one cored out just when you picked it. It didn't want to give it up. And I think they might be even another one. Ooh, they is, folks, right fresh off the garden. Let me give them a little rinsing. Well, folks, we getting that wok hot we are. And let's talk about what oil we're gonna put in there, what I think you should use. And I am really a big fan of avocado oil. It has a high smoke point, nearly 500 degrees. You wanna use something that has a high smoke point, but this is a great tasting oil. And remember, it's a healthy way to cook. So we ain't talking much. We just gonna put about that much. You think that'll do all that shit? We better have one more little splash. I think that's enough, don't you? That's what you call wok cooking. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to let this heat, I've got this turned up to a medium high till we can make sure that that oil, oh no, burglar alarm big says somebody's trying to sneak in and eat food. He's going to run them off. It won't take long for this to heat and I'm going to try to level my walk a little. Whoa, we're right on the money we are now. But let it heat good because you want to get that instant sear on that meat first so when we throw it in there and you can see some smoke coming off here so guess what time it is time to put in the bratwurst that is a good sound get her stirred around there get a little bit of that avocado oil on everybody 
That way you ain't having no sticking. Whew. And there's already a great smell coming off that, folks. They is for sure. Now, you want to stir this pretty constant because you just want it to brown up and get that good crust right on there. So just don't get it burnt, just get it crispy. But hey, we're talking about stir fry. You could use hamburger meat, you could use sausage, you could use some shrimp, you can use anything like that, but some andouille would be good. Some of that chorizo up there in Delco, that bass chorizo, yeah. would sure be good on that. But just keep stirring. We're gonna get it all browned up. Well, that's what that meat needs to look like. Good and brown, it's a little crispy all the way around. Got that great sear to it. Push it up there to the side. Them little things will be roly-poly on you if you watch out, they'll roll back in there. So you can place them in a bowl and just set them aside till we get ready to go back with them. Well, got the meat all done. Next comes the spuds. Be careful, cause that grease is hot when you dump them in there. So just let them go right in there. Give them a little stir. We're gonna let these taters cook about two thirds of the way cause I wanna get some good browning to them too and crisp them up. But they take longer to cook than anybody else. So besides the meat probably, and we just wanna let them in there and just let them get that avocado oil and some of that good heat off that wok and brown up. Well, time to add the squash it is. Get them down in there. Let some of that avocado get to them. Gonna cook them till they're good and tender. But I hear some of you out there, y'all already noticed it, we ain't seasoned yet. Well folks, I don't season that or that till we get it through, but that squash needs it now. What we're gonna put on it, www.kentrollins.com original seasoning is what we're gonna put on it. Give it a pretty good shaking. Get them taters. Come around here on that brat just a little. We'll let them squash brown up just a tad. Then we're gonna add the peppers and the onions and go to stir fry. Guess what? Bell peppers need to go in now so they can go to cooking. We're just gonna leave them right there on top. Reckon we better have some of them onions we had. And you can cut them any way you like. I just like to let them fall down in there cause I know they are gonna be good. Well folks, while that's cooking down, we need to make us some sauce what's gonna blend all this together. And when you have brats, you gotta have a sauce that goes with it. So pardon me, Shan while I get my sauce ingredients down here. And it don't take much to make this sauce, folks, it don't. We got us some honey mustard, and we're gonna use about that much. And we're gonna use us some Worcestershire that I have trouble pronouncing, about that much. But when you're cooking brats, what do you need to go with it, Shane? I don't know. Beer. And I have this plant, let me see. Yeah, oh. <laughs> Look what that plant growed. What is it? It is a Select 55. Whoa. That way I know I'm eating healthy and light. And I want you to pour about half of it in there. Take your whisk, give it a good stirring. While that's sitting there minding its own business, let's stir this. Well, folks, them little bell peppers don't like but just a little so it's time to infuse the rest of these veggies with all the participants get your garden rake your spatula whatever you got let's get them all down there and get them some love and go and give them a little tossing i'm telling you right now there is some smell coming out of there right now Woo -wee! and ain't it a pretty colorful dish mother earth has provided for us but it is missing something garlic yes two garlic cloves mince and you want to put them in right at the last because we don't want to burn that garlic so just sprinkle them out there amongst it now when you get that in there and you get everybody back in the garlic is in you just want to cook this to where you know everything is thoroughly good and warmed again but them bell peppers have had the chance to get good and tender which they have so guess what it is time to add some salt
Well, a most colorful, beautiful dish it is, and I'm gonna let it cool a minute, but you see me keep stirring that around there, and then when you take that sauce that's got that beer, pour it around the top side of that wok so it warms as it goes down, and just let it cook down. That's what you're after. But when you get to there to where it's nearly cooked down, turn that heat to low and just let it simmer. And when you see the last of it gone there, turn it out, it is done deal. That dog will hunt, ready to go to town it is. And folks, mm, I made this yesterday just to make sure I still knew how. We foundered on it, we did. I, I'm gonna tell you right now, y'all have heard me say it once or twice, I have cooked a lot of things in me that really just think, whew, best thing ever cooked. Folks, this might be one of them. Come right out of the garden, the freshness, the bell peppers add so much to it. I mean, the freshness from just coming right out of the ground, the garden stuff is good. But folks, that bratwurst cooked this way, go back in there and get that good crust on it, you can see. But that sauce, beer, mustard, Worcestershire, how can you go wrong with Well, I can't forget this one pup that's been out here helping me, so let me get this onion off here. This other one out there, you can see him back there behind you, Shannon. He's non-existent today. Must be on vacation. Ducker, you want a bite? Come on. Beagle, will take it. You're a good puppy and you sit there and you wait. We gotta wait on that guy to show up, the Duke. Go ahead, Duker. Get gone, buddy. It is a done deal. And when you eat this, folks, and you out here in the garden, it make you wanna do the whole thing. And then you can chop up your whiskey. Somebody need to be working in this garden, they do. Well, a garden dance, a great melody of vegetables and meat together. It is a great day above the grass, it is. But some of you, hey, I don't do it much, but you can add a little soy in there right there at the last if you want to. Everything you need to know, like I say, Shan will have it down there for you in the little description. Mm. Great day it was, folks. As always, I tip my hat. To all our service men and women and the veterans who have kept that old flag of flying in this great country of ours. A lot of crazy things going on in the world there is, but this is a place you can tune into and we're always going to be calm, peaceful, bring you a little dancing, some great food, and happiness. Thank you, Shannon and Andy, for always making me look better than I do. And God bless you each and every one, and I'll see you down the Garden Melody Stir Fry Trail. I just don't want to cut a finger. They're gonna caramelize a little. And guess what? We have malfunction again. Come on, you ain't gonna wish this. That's all, folks.